bourbon is such a great liquor used in any cocktails, but this one is super fun. And because I'm craving bourbon and I like to cook things, I'm gonna mash two of those together. So I've made some brown butter. Brown butter is really fun to make. If you just put some nice cold cubed up butter in a hot pan, it starts to bubble away. And as it bubbles, it gets really nice and nutty and changes color. Not only is it delicious, but it's delicious with bourbon. So check this out. Bourbon. The sweet smell of bourbon. Calling in sick for work. Just kidding. And then take some of the brown butter and then pour it into the bourbon. And what the brown butter does, it makes a nice sound and it washes the bourbon with the coolest flavor of brown butter. So you just wanna mix it into the bourbon. And I like to strain all the burnt milk solids out of it, but boy, do you get some pretty intense flavor in there. And here's a really good tip. So when I make it, just kind of swish it around. You should smell it already. It's super intense. Brown butter and bourbon, it's a really cool combo. So this is what I like to do. I like to pour it back into the jar and put it into the fridge. And when the butter hardens, you can strain that out and then you have something that's really tasty and delicious. You can even put this in the freezer because alcohol won't freeze. And when the butter hardens up, just strain that bourbon out and you've got bourbon washed with brown butter. It already smells like a dessert, it's crazy. All right, so some time has passed and it doesn't take long for that butter to harden up and it gets really flavorful really quick. Again, you can put it in the freezer if you want because the alcohol doesn't freeze. And I like to strain it off just in case there's any little bits of butter. Okay, let's get going. So I like this cocktail with an egg white. This is a little bit fancy. I don't do this a lot, but it's a nice trick to look really cool and not do a lot of hard work. So one egg white goes into this cocktail. I like to start with the egg white first. This is where you get like a little fancy. It's called dry shaking. So you put the egg white in first, just like that, and then put the lid on it. Oh, I'm. I'm gonna flavor it with a little bit of five spice because I think five spice and the brown butter and bourbon and orange go really well together. So put the egg white in there and a little bit of five spice and then dry shake it. And you might be thinking, what is he doing? He's gonna put a raw egg white in a drink? Well, if you shake it up with the five spice and then you hit it with lemon juice and the alcohol, it cooks the egg white and it gets really nice and fluffy on top. All right, so the egg white goes in and then I like it nice and stiff, my cocktail, so I'm gonna not be shy with the bourbon. This is great, just a huge jug of bourbon. Yeah, I'm gonna do two ounces. It smells so good. It almost smells like a dessert. Okay, and to offset the bourbon and to help kind of cook the egg, a nice shot of lemon juice. And then you wanna sweeten it up a bit. So this is simple syrup with orange peel in it. Simple syrup, my friend, dead easy. Equal parts sugar and water, you cook it down until it's dissolved, throw some orange rind in there, and then all of a sudden, you got sweet orange water. So a nice shot of that, it's all about the balance. And then some orange bitters. Bitters is really cool. It's 50% it's alcohol, but it takes a lot of flavor. And this one's made with orange, so it's a great balance, just a couple drops. And then last but not least, you need a lot of ice. And you could do this in a cocktail shaker, but I find, because I was playing the guitar, just one second. Nailed it. All right, I find a mason jar works just great as a cocktail shaker. So just put the lid on and really shake it up. So the lemon is gonna cook the egg whites, it's gonna get really nice and frothy, and then the ice kind of dilutes the cocktail a little bit. Awesome. Oh my God, that smells ridiculous. This is like a makeshift martini glass, check this out. I pour it all in there. Get a lot in, and then you're gonna see, once you let it settle, that the egg white will just hang out on the top. So you just kind of stop for a minute, let it cascade a little bit, and the egg white will come up to the top. Really cool. It looks so good. So just to finish it, a little bit of five spice. And I like to put it in the palm of my hand, and then just sprinkle it. Give it a nice dusting. And it looks beautiful, huh? And that bourbon will last for a long time. You can season that bourbon with the brown butter and just let it chill out and it's good to go. 
It is so good. The bourbon super quickly takes on the flavor of the brown butter. And then his cocktail is all about balance. So there's a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of bitter from the orange bitters, and then lots of lemon to kind of balance it out. And the egg white is really nice and frothy on top. And if you dry shake it with a five spice first, the whole egg white tastes like the most beautiful fragrant five spice. Awesome. So good. <laughs> I highly recommend you get a friend over, make a couple of these brown butter bourbons and turn up the blues. You know me, I'm always gonna give you the recipe, hit the link and make sure you like. And if you wanna see me make more delicious stuff, subscribe. I love you. I'm gonna hit the guitar. Woohoo!